up next in the UFC welterweight division matchup. Kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in it's a over, world of JK. trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 158 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, Mr. Untouchable. All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Straight right, he misses. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. It's hard. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Kind of <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Circling towards the left. Nice job by him to get the need of the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. I want that takedown now. 
Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Oh, vicious knees landing up top. No headgear allowed in the octagon, and at some point defensively, if you don't adjust, the referee's gonna step in. The night is almost over. If you don't defend yourself, you will eventually go to sleep. Misses again with a right punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. It's big, Paul. Now we get back to range. Went for the inside leg kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Jab now again, the fighter evades. Oh, is that a big knee? The body will see if he can follow up. Oh, nice right hand. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Big kick land. He got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Ooh, what a punch. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, single collar tie now. Trying to establish that jab once again. Can't take many of those, you better check. Nice one, two there. Big punch lands over the top. I'll be gonna follow this one up. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Oh. So a strong five minutes down. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Come on, bud. Let's get those hands working now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing 
that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. He slipped that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Slips that left hand. There, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Landed a big kick there. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. his opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, nice right hand. Cable engine right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Blocks that kick to the body. Nice body to run at the open. Massive head kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Good jab. to the body now, that one won't land. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. 20 seconds to go. Just missing on the high kick there. There's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Ten minutes in the books. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, 
until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh! Big leg kick lands. Nice straight punch. Superman punch there! Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And they separate. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Counters with a straight right hand. That'll work. Sidekick is there. Nice punch lands over the top. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. You got to check these low leg kicks. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh, straight right. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Checks that leg kick. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. And that left hook landed on the button. Great punch. The Superman punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Wow, what a kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Straight punch lands. Nice one, two there. Try to establish that jab. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. <laughs> Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. That's 
three oh, rounds oh, in the can oh, will oh, head oh, into oh, oh, the championship oh, round. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our right, next ready? round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Boom! Eats a knee. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go. Oh. Nice job to block the kick. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. It's a good right hand right there. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Doing a really good job of throwing those leg kicks. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Let's go. Set up that Leg kick. kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Big punch land. Ooh. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh! Under two minutes now to go. Nice punch lands over the top. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Misses with the left hook. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh! Oh, big knee there! Blocks the shot. Just misses with the left hook. There's no tell on that leg kick. Under a minute now to go. Good stick. Checks the leg kick. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so good. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. 
big kick. Beautiful straight counter. Oh, Superman punch. Big punch land. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Oh, tags him with that money left again. Beautiful body kick. Oh, that is a nice that straight like punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. All right, next round getting underway here, and both nice fighters round, still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they Go, put guys, in the fight. right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Big kick lands. Oh, and he caught the kick. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Real sneaky body. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Boxing. Box. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. Nice body. Nice kick. This fight's going to be over for you. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the but he was low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Stay patient. He cannot panic. He needs to find a way to get back to his back. Lay on this mat. He's got to get his back back to the mat. He has to get his back back to the mat. So then he can start to work on his defensive transitions. You don't want a guy like this who's so good at controlling this position just on top of you and riding you. Take your time, but get back to your back and start to try to recover your half guard. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which He's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Let's go, let's go. finish this, guys. Come on. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start doing everything he can find at his opponent and hope 
that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water, going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over. Oh! shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliano's call stop to this contest at three minutes, 55 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mr. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.